Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. The FA has missed the deadline for the BV loss NPRM. We'll talk about that. Rick Scott introduces the Drone for America Act to phase out Chinese drones and their components. And then lastly, a drone allegedly collides with a rescue helicopter in Texas that was uh, yeah, just really bad. Let's get to it. And first up this week, it's another case of hurry up and wait for the drone industry. Uh, the FAA has missed the deadline for publishing the much anticipated Beyond Visual Line of Sight, or BV Loss, Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, NPRM. So BV Loss, NPRM, I know a lot of acronyms in here. Well, that deadline was July 7th of this year, a couple days ago, and it came by, and of course the NPRM is beyond visual line of sight right now. The new MIS deadline joins the one from the FAA Reauthorization Act of 2024, which made it at the NPRM to be published by September 16th of 2024. A little bit of a history here, the BV Loss Aviation Rulemaking Committee, or the ARC, uh, delivered a comprehensive report that's uh, 381 pages long, and it has 70 different recommendations all the way back in March of 2020. 22. Now, the report gave the FAA a set of recommendations for enabling BV loss, but as we've said in the last several weeks, the FAA is not really going to release anything until they're satisfied with what they have, regardless of the deadlines that have been imposed by either Congress or the White House. Now, the perfect example of this is Section 2209 from the 2016 FAA Reauthorization Act, which still has not been implemented. And then unfortunately, there is not much that we can do other than wait in this case, but uh, you know what's not waiting this segue to our sponsor pilot institute wait are we sponsoring our own videos now that's right and actually we're excited because we have this landing pad right here uh, there's a limited number of these little guys right here for sale get yours by scanning the qr code or by visiting the link in the description and once they're gone we don't have them anymore so make sure you get to it Back to the news. Next up, uh, Florida Senator Rick Scott has introduced what's called the Drones for America Act, a bill that is uh, aiming to ban Chinese-made drones and then also their components while trying to boost the U.S. manufacturing. Now, the bill in itself proposes a phased approach. It would implement a full ban on the sale of Chinese manufactured drones by January 1st of 2028, and then a ban on Chinese-made components by January 1st of 2031. Now, in the meantime, a gradual increase of tariff would be placed on these items to uh, phase them out of the market, and then the revenue collected from these tariffs would be used in order to fund a grant program. And this grant program is designed to help American company uh, develop and produce U.S. manufactured drones and components, along with helping first responders, law enforcement, and even farmers and ranchers purchase these American-made drones. This is very similar to the bill that we saw from Stefanik uh, in the past. However, of course, you've noticed that it's missing the largest users of drones, which is small businesses and recreational flyers. Right now, there are no alternatives to DJI for consumer and small businesses. And we've heard from the people that are behind this bill that there has been no study done in order to determine the output of drones from current American manufacturers. And of course, Rick Scott is likely not watching this news, this news update uh, because he would know that DJI is not selling drones right now in the United States because of the CBP interdictions. Here's a math question for Rick Scott and AUVS side who are behind this bill. What is 25% tariff times zero sales? The answer is zero dollars. That's right. And then 200% tariff times zero sales, still zero dollars. So my next question is, where is the money to fund this program, this grant program that they're talking about, going to come from? Where is it going to come from? Of course, this bill threatens to destroy the drone industry by ignoring the small service providers and then also by ignoring the recreational pilots. They're actually going to force public safety agencies to buy more expensive drones without any grant money because that money is not coming from anywhere at the moment. So please reach out to your senators and your representative and then tell them that this is not a good idea and tell them how this is going to impact you as a drone pilot. And finally, this week, a story that serves as a critical reminder for all of us about why we have rules. On July 7th, during the catastrophic flooding in Kerr County in Texas, a drone reportedly collided with a rescue helicopter. The helicopter was forced to make an emergency landing and is now out of commission. Now, this has sidelined a critical life-saving asset in an area where, tragically, over 100 people have already died. This entire area was actually covered by a temporary flight restriction, or TFR, specifically specifically NODAM FDC 5-2615, in order to keep the airspace clear for, well, the exact type of, you know, rescue operation that we're talking about here. 
This is an entirely preventable incident that puts first responders and the victims at risk. Feels like a deja vu. If you remember, we had a similar case in January of 2025 when a hobbyist flew the, the DJI Mini 3 into a firefighting super scooper uh, that was in California. Uh, the drone punched a, a fist size hole into the plane wing and then grounded it for five days during the uh, critical wildfires. This is the definition of what we usually call the don't be die guy segment. But uh, yeah, in these sort of situation, it's really important that we remember that we have professionals on the ground doing their job. And it's important that we let them do that. Uh, we've had several people from Texas who have drones and have asked us if uh, they can go and help. The short answer is uh, no. I know it's a difficult answer to hear, but the answer is no. Let these professionals do their job unless they, there is a specific request for assistance from uh, these agencies. Now, with that being said, if you're watching this and you want to help and you want to continue to help in the future, reach out to the local search and rescue groups and then get involved and then let them know that you, know, you can help down the road. They'll train you if they need to, then you'll be available to do this. And then also remember, always check your TFRs and uh, as always, just don't be that guy. And then on post flight, the show where we share our opinions in the premium community, we are going to cover a few additional stories in depth, including these, but also talking about the 4th of July drone show by Sky Element, and then the uh, New York Police Department who is asking to have the ability to neutralize drones. All right, that's all we have. We'll see you on Monday for the live and then post flight in the premium community. The uh, hypocrites. That's the word. That is insulting AF. <laughs> Atrocious that you would say that. It still is zero dollars. So how we, how the f are we going to fund this thing? We need to help manufacturers be able to produce and attract talent to be able to mass produce the things that we have in the US. Mm -hmm.